What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, new videos coming every week. You don't wanna miss them. Also, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any videos that I put out every week. Today's video, um, I'm gonna talk about something that I picked up in med school and that kind of motivated me to uh, keep working hard in med school. Along this medical path, this arduous path, it is a very, very, very long road. And um, if you don't pace yourself, you will definitely tire out. People always talk about that it's a marathon, not a race. They tell you to take it day by day to have work-life balance. Because when I first started med school, I was, a, as most people are who, if you go to med school, you're either extremely intelligent, you work really hard, you been successful up until that point but um, I was a definitely a type A I'm still a type A type person and um, you know try to strive for perfection and su success always wanted to do my best you know when you put yourself in a class of 200 people uh, the most smartest people that you ever know it's it's, it's pretty challenging to you know stand out so in college in high school I always give this analysis that there are some people that are in high school that want to be there because people that their parents make them and then there's people there that, that are just there they're just not very smart at all in college you know you have more people that are intelligent you have some people that are just there because their parents make them and you have some people that are not smart at all again but in med school everyone's freaking smart so it uh it's in college it's it's not that hard to do well and you know stand out and be at the top of your class or do well in your in your courses because you know there's some people that are at the bottom of the uh the class that are just gonna not show up to class or not do well in the exam and that makes you look better so in med school everybody's smart so it makes it really challenging to compete and also to do well and stand out uh, with people who are from Harvard from Yale from Stanford from these Ivy League schools Princeton Columbia all those big big name schools and you're competing against them uh, these people they're really good test takers you know they do well in their classes they always have done well so uh, but what hit me in med school when I heard this was that um, three letters basically the person said P equals MD and I was like damn that does make sense I have another video about um, what do they call the person who graduates last in their medical school class and I put that video right up here but they call him a doctor so if you 200 people in your class and you graduate 200 out of 200 you're gonna be a doctor um, I think what most people don't understand is that, you know, your first and second year grades don't really matter that much at all. Because I, I give, I've given this analysis a lot too. If you do poorly in your first and second year grades, and say for instance you're on an A, B, C, D, F scale, say for instance you got all C's, and then you score a 280 on your step one, you're gonna get into a really good residency. Any residency that you wanna get into. Conversely, if you score all A's in your first and second year med school class, and then you score 205 in your step one, you're gonna to struggle to get into a residency. So that's why I really say that first and second year grades really don't matter. Most important test of your life, your step one, you're gonna be a physician. Um, you know, some people may say that, oh, if you struggle in first and second year classes that you uh, may struggle in your step one. I can see some truth in that, but at the same time, I wouldn't try to be at the top of your class. I wouldn't be at the bottom. I would just be average. And that's hard for a lot of people to do, especially getting to a point where they get into med school, they're successful. You're used to being at the top. You're gonna have to be comfortable being in the middle. Uh, because it comes to a point where do you want to study that extra eight hours or do those extra 500 questions just to get an A in that class where you can get a B or a C and then still learn the information well well enough for the exam so I kind of transitioned from trying to do the being the 
number one student in my med school class to actually taking the time to learn the material well so I can do well on step one. So my first and second year grades may have suffered because of that, but at least I understood the material well enough to do really well on step one. So P equals MD. That's my kind of, um, you know, advice for you all. Um, you know, study hard in med school, in your pre-med years, but don't kill yourself um, trying to be number one in your med school class. It really doesn't really matter. Uh, nobody's going to ask you what number you were in your med school class when you graduate. That person who is number 200, the person who graduates last in your med school class, they're going to walk across that stage and they're going to have the same initials behind their name as you. So P equals MD. I got my Bless shirt on here. You guys want this shirt, I'll put a link in the description along with some other inspirational merchandise that I put out. But thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. You don't want to miss them. We'll see you next time.